What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Pretty Little Liars Original Sin Season 1 Episode 7. This will be the recap for that. Episode 7 starts with Minnie's mom getting a note from A that reads meet me in the Hall of Mirrors. So kind of a, a reminder of something that happened with Angela Waters and her. We then jump to 1999 again for another flashback of Angela kissing Minnie's mom in the Hall of Mirrors. We didn't see date or what I was going to say. The flashback continues on. Davy sees them and Angela is blamed for the kiss because I guess Davy is homophobic or something. And Minnie's mom didn't want to be left out of the group as a result of that. Tabby and Imogen are then shown talking about Farron's mom being discharged. Farron and her mom argue about the accident and the surgery. At school, the liars talk about A and Noah tells them she caught the sheriff getting a blowjob from a boy doing community service. They consider telling people some of the info that they have and Noah suggests they don't because A is still keeping tabs on them. Farron is informed that Kelly withdrew from class completely. Kelly or not Farron goes to see Kelly and Kelly thinks Farron put someone up to threatening her with a knife. So that attack you saw in episode six in the auditorium, she thinks that that was Farron. She says to stay away from her or she'll have her father arrest her. In Tabby's class, she is told about an assignment involving creating a short story related to their lives. Ash asks Minnie to the carnival. Minnie has trauma because as a child, she was almost abducted at a carnival. Farron is shown having another scene talking about her injury and her, and her flaring up and how she treats it and how she's been dealing with it for eight years. Tabby is shown to be turned off by a double feature idea Wes suggests. There's also a bizarre scene that just I, I, I want this to stop happening. There's a bizarre scene that you've seen it in the promo. It relates to her standing in the woods. That's all I'm going to say. And a attacking her. <laughs> We're then shown Imogen taking care of her fake baby. That is part of a school assignment at school. She leaves it at a front desk. But when she comes back, the baby is gone. Imogen freaks out over it because it's kind of like a reflection of how her own doubts it's kind of a reflection of her own doubts about being a mom. That's what I was picking up on here. Imogen finds the baby with a note attached saying, you're a bad mother. Imogen agrees to tag team the assignment with Chip. She asks for a ride to the adoption agency from Chip after school. He agrees. Farron wanders into the woods and has another hallucination about A attacking her with a knife. Tabby goes to see a deputy, but the sheriff request her in his office he asked about tyler who has been missing since the party he mentions that there was a witness who recalled an argument that ended in violence tabby tells the sheriff off and then leaves imogen and chip go get food after leaving the adoption agency they are clearly having a lot of fun together on the pizza date farron has another encounter with her mom and she says she refuses to let her poor decisions affect her life Minnie confronts Steve at his tech store because he wouldn't leave her alone. Minnie says she'll dox him if he doesn't stop. He reveals that he knows why Minnie does what she does because he knows her mom. Minnie gets a text saying the man who tried to take you wasn't a stranger. Imogen is crushing on Chip and asks Tabby if it's okay. She says of course and they, and they should go to the carnival together. Tabby talks to the school nurse and then we jump to the carnival night. Minnie and Ash make it official that they are boyfriend and girlfriend. Tabby Tabby talks with her mom about her school assignment. Kelly is shown at the carnival as well with her parents. Imogen and Chip have fun eating cotton candy together. They end up kissing after Chip rants about his problems. Farron gets trapped on the Ferris wheel with Henry. They talk about the drama she has with her mom. Noah stops a fight breaking out between Sean and the Rosewood boys. Rosewood sharks, I believe they are. Minnie's mom gets a text from A saying if you don't be honest with Minnie then her worst feels will come true. The masked figure is shown watching over the carnival. Minnie and Ash go to the Hall of Mirrors. Minnie becomes frightened after believing she is seeing the masked figure chase her. Minnie's mom reveals that the man who tried to take her was her father. Minnie reveals that she was the one who sent that text earlier and that that was not a that text that her mom got earlier that was not from a that was from Minnie from a burner phone in order to get her mom to reveal the truth. Imogen tells Tabby that she and Chip kissed and the date was fun at school the next day the liars meet and Tabby tells the girls they need to tell they need to tell them something something. A sends a text of Tyler's dead body to all the girls and the episode ends. So they get that text after uh, Tabby and Imogen say they need to tell all the other girls something. They get a text, a group text, very reminiscent of the original show where they got those group texts. Get a text of Tyler's dead body and then the episode just cuts off. Now again, next week, 
that's the week of a lot more answers. You're going to find out what happened to Angela Waters. You're going to find out what, what actually happened the rest of that night. You're going to find out who A is. You're going to find out how they're connected to Angela Waters. You're going to find out so many different things that when you rewatch the show and you see how obvious it was, you'll be like, how could I have missed it? It does make a lot of sense. And again, I will say that this A reveal is the second best A reveal next to Mona. Uh, I was very satisfied with it. I'm not saying it makes the, it. I'm not saying it answers every question under the sun, but the way it's done makes it the second best. I've even had some people who've already finished it saying they find it to be better than Mona's. I'm not saying that all of you will think that, but I can't wait to hear what everyone's reaction is next week when you all find out who A is. And hopefully it's something that satisfies all of you. And to those of you who are on Reddit who watch my videos, yes, there is a correct theory out there on Reddit. Somebody nailed it completely. And I'm very impressed with that. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who it was, obviously, but I was very impressed when I saw that because it's like, OK, I'm glad there are some people who are very paying very close attention and they were able to figure it out. Even if they aren't very confident in it, they'll find out they were right and they'll know who they are when they if they see this video and once they find out who it is, because I'm sure they'll make a reminder post or at least go back to the post they originally made to talk about it. But with episode seven, with the whole chip thing, uh, you know, with chip. I left out some details. There's there's moments in episode seven where it's kind of like, are they trying to tell you he's Imogen's baby daddy? Uh, or is this just another red herring? Because they Pretty Little Liars does this. They where they give you these red herrings. Cause Chip's Chip's instant desire to just, you know, call himself, I think at one point he calls himself the father. Uh it seems like an act of guilt or admission of some some way. So you'll see in, if in episode eight, if he actually is the, the legitimate father of Imogen's child, because, again, you're going to get that answered as well. You're going to find out who assaulted Tabby. You're going to find out who assaulted Imogen. And as a result of what Imogen has already told us, you will then also find out who her baby daddy is on top of all these other juicy things that are going to be in this jam packed bloody season finale episode 10 that will release next week with episodes eight nine as well but let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already, of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links to social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video